long before we long. All right. Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Thank you guys so much, man, for the um, well wishes. Um, Mom's doing okay. Um, She's just, you know, trying to get better. She's up there in age, so, you know, some things she got to work on. But, um, yeah. But, yeah, we, um... My thing is this, I'm I'm getting sick and tired of this um Busby character. This this guy here has put out the depositions of the ladies to social media and stuff, and it's very tasteless. But see, I don't see the NFL saying anything about Daniel Snyder or anything, talking about, well, we suspended his operations. Yeah, but y'all not dragging this in the media. All y'all can talk about is Deshaun Watson and talk about anybody who's black. But everybody who white get a pass. And I don't want to hear none of you pink folk come on my page talking about bum behind Big Ben. Because Big Ben was given a pass. When they tried, when they dropped the charges on him, they never brought up Big Ben's transgressions or anything off the field. So don't even do that because I pull receipts. I pull receipts on y'all. Don't come to my page with that BS because I will expose y'all. Don't try to tell me, oh, well, Big Ben is such and such. I'm like, man, Big Ben what? Big Ben always got the ultimate pass. Always. He always got the ultimate pass. Ain't nobody was saying nothing bad or negative about no Big Ben. <laughs> like, what is y'all talking about? Y'all guys on that BS and stuff. Y'all don't think for yourselves. <laughs> y'all just go along with everything. And you got this one dude, Bishop, whatever, some white boy out there dissing Lamar Jackson. But yet, he was wrong when Lamar Jackson got hurt. He tried to say, oh, the Ravens are going to be better without Lamar Jackson. Well, guess what, white boy? They wasn't. I'm going to tag you in something and air you out. I want you to come on the stream yard one day. Because I'm going to give it to your white boy self. I'm tired of you little white boys running around here thinking y'all can say whatever. But as soon as y'all want to see a quarterback, we diss the quarterback. Y'all want to all hop on his stick. Everybody want to talk about, man, race ain't got nothing. The race does have something to do with it. And if you don't think it do, okay, let me ask you this. How about you, if you have a black friend, which probably is DeAndre, <laughs> which is probably DeAnthony, Go to go get a loan. I want you to go buy yourself to get a loan, and then I want your friend to walk in there and see what he can do to get a loan. And y'all both can have the same good credit. Both of y'all have the same good credit. I put money on it that you get that loan, but he don't. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet? And then if y'all do get that loan, I bet you his loan has more interest on it than yours. So let's talk about the real. Busby want to do all this. Busby's a clown. And people are trying to run with what Busby say. Why? Because he white? Busby lost the mayor candidacy because of his fraud. He has some type of fraud going on. And that's why he never was able to be elected for mayor. And the, and the other mayor, I think, who won sued him. I think the, um, I think the mayor of Houston sued him. I'm not real sure. A.B. felt some more. You guys let me know about that because y'all from Houston. But Busby's always been a piece of shit. Always. He don't worry about nobody but himself. He's always trying to be in the media and the news and everything. Trying to be flaunting and everything with his weak ass. Deshaun Watson, man, I've never seen, I, I've seen this before happen. And frankly, man, brothers are getting tired of that crap. But what pissed me off is Shannon Guzzler not so sharp trying to talk all big and bad, talking about the, um, trying to always, try to always cater to black people when it comes to the coaching vacancies and all, I mean, the coaching, um, the, yeah, the coaching hirings and everything. 
I'm sorry guys, I'm flustered. Words aren't gonna come out because I'm pissed off because I'm so tired of a black man who goes through something, he found not guilty, doesn't even go to court with it, but yet he's still guilty in the eyes of the public. But white people can walk around with they all, with they stick out, forcing girls in a party to go to a back room and get off by settling because that was about to go to court. But hey, we not gonna talk about Big Ben Everybody going to be like, man, you can't talk about Big Ben. You can't talk about Big Ben. Why not? He just like the rest of you honkies. He just like the rest of you honkies. The rest of you honkies, all y'all doing everything. Y'all get away with everything, but yet y'all complain about something. I'm like, bro, do you know I w Do you know a lot of us black people wish we had y'all skin tone so we at least can have a day without being harassed, or going to work without being given all the worst jobs in America to try to do well in, and then if we don't do well, we getting written up. But y'all, y'all don't get written up at all. Y'all get a slap on the wrist like, just next time, do it next time, John. That's what y'all do. Then you're gonna have some idiot come on here. Man, they're just doing, listen, there are just as many whites that died or whites that have gone through something. They just don't put it on the news. That's what we talking about, idiot. Who do you think the news is made for? Huh? Huh? Don't tell me no, huh? Don't give me no El Hodge TV, huh? 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 <laughs> no. No. Why? Why do you think they do that, pink folk? They do that because they're trying to spread to the old figgities or those who are in charge and those across the world that, yeah, black people ain't it. And they've been doing this since, the, since, since they, um, they've been doing this for a long time. Oh, man, what is going on? It's traffic. Are y'all serious, man? Come on. Give me some BS, man. So, yeah. It's always like that. got these damn uppity people who basically watches this stuff they they basically actually watch all this stuff that happens because they want to project how black people are when black people aren't like that and that's just how it is and you got white people like man well we not like that we not like that you ain't like that okay try me i bet y'all ain't inviting no black people to y'all country club unless they a token black dude They always have that one black dude in everything. You got Chris Rock with um Adam Sandler and all them. One black guy, right? Not another teen movie. <laughs> the guy was like, man, what are you doing here, man? You know, I'm the designated black guy. <laughs> and it's funny, but it's true. You got to have at least one black person in every whack ass movie with number white people in it. That's why Not Another Teen Movie is like one of my favorite movies of all time. Because it hit on all the stereotypes which are true. You know, but people didn't catch that though. A lot of people would go over their head. But see, Deshaun Watson and everything, he they're going to keep dragging this man's name in the mud and everything. Now the media trying to drag Lamar Jackson's name in the mud. Because he ain't signed no contract. Lamar Jackson knows his worth. He knows his worth. Lamar Jackson's not dumb. And he's going to get a deal, whether it's with Baltimore or with somebody else. You guys could keep hating on him. You guys love hating on him. But yet you guys gave all these other quarterbacks a pass. All these quarterbacks. Josh Allen got weapons put around him. The Buffalo Bills have done right by Josh Allen. Now he looks like a great quarterback because of the weapons he got. His first his first couple years, dog, he was not all that. He had the potential, but at the same time, he was not all that, bro. And you guys keep on lying on Josh Allen like he was that guy. You guys didn't think he was that guy because a lot of y'all was putting other players over him. 
I had to argue and tell my homeboy, like, bro, all Lamar Jackson better than Baker. Baker ain't gonna be Jack in the NFL. I know, I know, because I watched him. I watched his, I watched his awareness. I watched him under pressure. Under pressure, Baker be cracking. He cracks. And that's when I knew when he played against Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes outslung him in the game with lesser talent and a dumber coach. This idiot here almost caused the accident to try to jump ahead of me. If he'd have called an accident, the damn police people would have just been like, yo. Why well, I said people cannot drive. But yeah, Buzz be a piece of shit. He's always been a piece of shit. And he's doing this because he's trying to use the court of public opinion. That's what they all do. That's what the media does. The media has used that for years against people of color. They have used that for years to tear a, color, tear a person down. Now you saw Will Smith went from the token Negro. Now they're pulling up all his charges from the past. And yeah, they're giving him the treatment like they give all the other black people. Jada Pinkett Smith has single-handedly ruined the best of us, which is Will Smith. Single-handedly ruined him. And now she's getting blasted and drugged through the mud because we know it's her. But she don't care. She's happy. She's getting publicity, whether it's bad or whatever. She happy. Out here having sex with her son's friends and stuff. Come on, man. What kind of mom are you, dog? You, you, I swear. But yeah, this is the Sean Watson thing, man. It's a bunch of BS. It's bull. It. They're trying to destroy this man's career and everything, and then they're trying to say, oh, he, he might not play 2020. I'm like, bro, he is going to play. <laughs> Listen, the NFL would not have allowed him to come back if he wasn't going to play. They took him off the exempt list because it didn't go criminal. If it went criminal, then they would have to put him on the exempt list like they did Michael Vick. But he beat the charges, and they've been monitoring the cases, and the NFL was drilling the women of Busby. Busby talking about, I didn't like how they were interviewing my clients. Yeah, because they liars. They're a bunch of lying-ass women, a bunch of lying-ass itches. And I'm tired of people talking about, well, it was 22 and everything. Okay, what if 22 people said you sucked a stick? What if they said they saw you in the back sucking on another man? What if they said that? Huh? What if they said they saw you doing that? And you say, man, I want back there doing that. And you fighting and stuff, right? They put them allegations out there so they right, right? You suck stick, right? See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, people believe anything. People liars, dog. People lie, man. All these women have the same story with one lawyer. Come on, stop it. And then it all came out when he tried to get traded. Everybody saw this. Nobody's stupid. And then everybody know Busby and Kyle McNair are friends. They stay right next door to each other. Trying to talk about, oh, well, there's other people that live out here. But, man, stop it, Busby. You even lied. I could tell you was lying. You could keep that straight face and that body language all through you lying. Because before he asked for that trade, how come all this stuff didn't come out, huh? Why all this stuff didn't come out when he was playing? Oh, I know why. Because y'all wanted to paint a narrative of, oh, this guy here, this guy is the, he's the evil black guy. He's the mean black guy. I'm telling you, dog, it's, it's so BS right now, man. I, I just don't understand it. This is so BS right now how they have um treated Deshaun Watson. They treated Deshaun Watson like he's guilty. And it's like, bro, like, what are we talking about here? The guy hasn't been convicted. Even with Kobe Bryant, they tried to say, oh, man, Kobe Bryant paid off somebody. And I told somebody, I had to tell somebody in Bear Theater's chat. Shout out to Bear Theater. Y'all go subscribe to him. I had to tell somebody in his Facebook chat. I'm like, bro, just because you paid, just because you paid the money, dog, doesn't mean you did it. Some people pay the money to get away from it, like to get done with it. Kobe only had one dumb line asshole dealing with him. So he had to um, just get rid of her and said, look, man, here the money, whatever. Because he knew in that court he wasn't going to get um, the fair shape. He wasn't going to get the fair shape. 
but they got it to where Kobe could play with the team. He would have to fly to Colorado. He would come back. Kobe was dropping 50s and 60s. It was incredible. I was like, man, this man, life's hanging in the balance, and he's just coming back destroying. They wouldn't even let Deshaun Watson play. And they kept asking him every day, oh, you want to, you still want to be traded? If Deshaun Watson would have said, no, nah, I don't want to be traded no more, they would have had all that stuff washed away. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet? I bet everything on it. Because I know how these guys work. I've seen this before. I've seen this before. I've seen this done to black men. That's why I'm telling y'all, man. That's why I don't feel sorry for none of these people because we should have been had our own league. We should have been had our own stuff, man. These guys are they 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 too scared to jump out there and do their thing. Um Q Lee, my brother Q Lee said it best. Man, they scared, man. It's just about fear. I know it's about fear. It's all about fear. And then you got the media trying to turn Baker Mayfield into a sympathetic figure. It's sickening. It's sickening. I'm glad Bart Scott brought everybody attention back to the table. Like, bro, this guy has not done anything. He's been the problem. You've gotten all the help in the world. You've had more help than Lamar Jackson's had, bro. Personally, if you want to be honest, he's had more help. Man, I forgot my water jug. I'm at the bar water out. Dang, I didn't want to do that. But yeah, he's had more help than Lamar Jackson has. Lamar Jackson has played with the least help of anybody. Of anybody. But yet, he's still ridiculed. He still talked bad about everything. They do everything in their power to tear this man down. It's, it's so sickening to me. So sickening. When a white guy or anybody that looks almost white they get a pass just like you see in here with this um they're talking about oh well we're putting out the bill the, the anti-lynching bill where you can't lynch anybody and i don't even think that's what the bill's for the bill's for something else because angela stanton king talked about it there they just put the words like that and had a bunch of black people around i don't trust that damn bill that um joe biden signed what happened to helping us get rid of our debts, Joe Biden? Joe Biden said he was going to help us with that. But yet, you black people ain't doing nothing to, to, to hold his feet to the fire. Y'all not holding his feet to the fire at all. Y'all not holding his feet to the fire at freaking all. It's crazy to me. It is so crazy to me how y'all let this guy get a pass. Y'all let Joe Biden get a pass. If this was Donald Trump or anybody else, man, y'all would have blasted him. But y'all giving Joe Biden all this love. Joe Biden ain't done nothing for the blacks, nothing for our community, nothing for the infrastructure of America. All he's done is just put money in to helping other countries, bringing all this one trillion and all this to Ukraine. Why are you giving all that money to Ukraine but not the citizens who put your ass in office? You dumbass cracker. That's all he is, an old ass racist cracker. And I tell it to his face, even with Secret Service there, they can light me up, I'll be like, go ahead. You ain't nothing but a bigot cracker, a liar. Don't like no black people. Only black person you probably ever known was Barack Obama. <laughs> and Barack Obama ain't black. He mulatto, dummy. <laughs> he mulatto. He got a white mama and um, a black daddy. Dang shame. The only time they love black people is what they can make money off of us or have us doing. They've always made money off of us and our stupid asses is too dumb to see. Man, we could do our own thing, dog. We could create our own sports league and everything. They're just scared of the loss early on. What they gonna do? Just come and watch LeBron play? Hell, that's all they'll have in the NBA is LeBron. And then you guys will have your own league over here where guys are over here balling, doing their thing. People going to be like, oh, man, I'm going to go watch these guys. These guys over here balling. You're going to have a league full of white people. Luca and then um, 
LeBron. That's all you have. You can leave that behind. Let them keep Luca. Shit, Luca. Luca probably will be like, I mean, I want to go play with the brothers. <laughs> Luca be over there. Yeah, that could be our guy. That'll be the only guy over there. Everybody else will be trash. They need us more than we need them. And that's the problem with us. That's the problem with, with black men and, and black women and blacks in general. We don't have to come together. All we got to do is get together. Ain't no coming together. Let's get together. We all can hold our own on our own. We've shown that. Black people can survive on their own. But at the same time, we don't need to come together and be all. All of us come to, we get together. Get together means that we all voluntarily wanted to come and meet each other. Coming together is different. That's like being forced. Oh, we got to come together. No, we need to get together, man. Put some together. That's what we that that's what we need to do. We got to get out of this um we got to get out of this um low frequency th um low frequency thinking. That low frequency thinking ain't nothing. It it, it, is, it hurts you. And me, I got to do better. I got to do better at that too. I got to work on myself. We all do, but I got to work on myself. You know, everybody be like, "Man, well how about you start and you go down there and, and talk to them?" What one person going to do to about five, about five million people? Now, if I had 500 to 1,000 people behind me and we talking about something, hey, we'll be heard more. But see, you guys don't think like that. You guys are waiting for the next person to do it. Why the next person? Why don't you just do it together? How about you just be like, yo, man, how about we just do this together? Let's go get this together. We don't have that mindset. <laughs> We don't have that mindset at all. We don't like we don't like DeAndre. We don't like Bones. We don't like none of them. We don't like Tony. None of them. Because we feel we're going to get screwed at the end of the day. So, thank y'all for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit that notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if y'all love what y'all hear, y'all can go to my um, description box. Hit, hit up my cash app. Donate whatever your heart desires. And um, whenever we go live or have a premiere video, you guys can super chat, you know, a dollar, two dollars or five dollars. Now, if it's over twenty dollars, put that in the cash app. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, thank you guys for your blessings for my mother. She's doing good. Um, just some, you know, she has a little just a little bit weak complications, but she'll be all right. So, you know, thank you guys, man. Love y'all. Be safe. We out. Deezy.